Greetings. Greetings to the chat. Not just to the chat, but greetings straight across the earth. Come on, greetings, free people. Greetings. I come with clean hands. Come on, and I do come in peace. Truly. I must say I come across a tape. With Sir Myrie. You no? Know? Pujubanta. And I must say. It really impressed me. Yeah, man, the Bojo Bantan narrative impressed me. I'm here, Bojo said, boy, I am no entertainer, you know? I'm a singer and play of instrument. So I really make that correction clearly. And on my part, I know me really style them as entertainers, really. So I have to correct myself and take back them talk like uh, just the information we share. A good brother. My sister, you get some culture. Yeah, man. My sister, you get some information. But I think one of the most information, the most important information you probably need for your team. Bojo. Is nature of your origin and when I said that so that's a looking at your ancestral lineage because I know you can facilitate that and try to pinpoint at what point did your ancestors came over here on boats as slaves and when you can do that my good brother I think you're going to eat a have a more solid a foundation for you move forward with. Because I'm quite sure you're going to look and you know, see none of your ancestors have come out of no Africa nowhere. You're going to find out say, boy, you are American and you are home. And this term America is there before the United States of America was created. When this foreign system came here, they came to America. Yeah, man. They started over there in Britain. And from Britain, they create what is called a council on the mainland there. And from that council, they create them corporations, the United States of America. And from that very corporation, they also go ahead and create the United States and also create a federal district, which is Washington. DC. I think its new name is New Columbia, something like that. But these are separate and distinct entities from the land. And I show on a tape before, Seboa, we are located in what they call the West Indies. And as such, the West Indies is a sub region of the North American continental plate out there. It's all connected. We are one landmass, one body of people. Before, you just say the interruption or the invasion of foreign entities coming to this place. So, them foundation, them more, uh, you get Bojo. Uh, and for the angry, you know what I mean? I mean, I mind when you talk or you talk. I mean, I really look for words, good or bad, you know? But I know, say, I'm not really to really be angry and I say, boy, oh, I'm a sister, I'm not that in the fun. My sister, your anger is more towards the passivity of the people. But I must say this, my king. Just like how everybody learn differently, people wake up at different time and stages. 
So you still have to give and take with the people. Yeah, man. But we give thanks to no so you're there on a level where you ascertain some information. And we can definitely know where you ascertain your information. Because usually, a very few school of thought will bring them kind of information. And a lot of the Moors who used to be Moors and in you know, that kind of religious concept there have this information knowing we are Aborigines. When them say indigenous Bojo, we are what them call the Aborigines. We were here before the creation of indigenous, before the creation of these words and terms. We, the Aborigines, were here. We have always been here. However, when them are construct them laws and them treaties and them resolutions, you have a set of people where rise up. That's not necessarily Aborigine, but they are indigenous. So them create them kind of thing that where we as Aborigine, we have a kind of a mirror. If not attach yourself to what is known as indigenous, I don't have a problem with it either way. Uh, I know with words, people, you know, have one definition for one class of people and a separate and distinct definition for another class of people. I'm totally aware of this. So, you're correct when we talk about unity. Yeah, from a kind of pass through this thing, I always I said, the unity brings strength. When one man do a thing, it's just a one man do a thing. It not really have the effect where it should. But when a group of ones do the thing, it's a whole different level. Much more potent. Much more powerful. Especially when they are of, of, of like mind. Come on. Once they are of like mind, one goal, one aspiration, one set of commitment, then change is just natural. And what is that goal? What is that commitment? It has to be freedom. Free dominion. Free dominion. Allow the people who choose to govern themselves to do just that. We are not all dumb, as you would say. We are not all illiterate, as you would say. And even for the people then, when they have the formal education, when people would say, yeah man, that man don't read and write and illiterate, I would beg to differ. I find that in most of those kind of people, they are what is known as visionaries. They have some ideas on some things and, and have done some things. Where most of the people read and write can't do. A lot of them read and write in skill restrict them, confine them. You know what I mean? However, if we have some set of information we are going around, we can bring some clarity basic explanation to what is really going on, then that is a plus, that is a bonus. It's not necessarily have to be adversarial, eh? it's me against the system. It's me against this government. Irrespective of what it is, I man really can't share those kind of views. Cause I said this. From what I've read in law, the system is in place because of we the people, probably not I as an individual per se, but is on behalf of I, we the people. So whatever system is there, it's there for the people's benefit. And it's there because the people allow it. Only the people can allow these things. When you have a politician stand up in front of you, it's because you delegate your authority to that politician. So when we hear most of my Jamaican so-called People, we who are awak, awak, I complain about a prime minister with them delegate. I think it's asinine. I think that's why other people call you guys fool. You 
simple as that. And probably that is why our good brother, Butu Bantan, you know, will be angry on that level. Because of the passivity and the naivety of most of our people. We are lost to the fashion. We are lost to the materialistic side of things. We are lost to the immediate gratification and not just gratification, it's self-gratification. The people them usually are the things just to benefit themselves. Few people do things where to benefit mankind. Few people express themselves in ways where beneficial to the whole. Very few people do that. Irrespective of what it is, we have to know who we are. One of the first steps. And once we know who we are, like I. I am that living soul manifest as man. That's where I am. First and foremost, man. There is no other office higher than the office of man. And when we step through now and say, boy, we, 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 we find ourselves a part of a community, part of a system where it now have nothing to do with we. We just basically inherit the system because our ancestors was here and was a part of this very system. So when we find a system like this and we say, okay, this is what it is, and it operate, operating in a certain kind of way, where it's not beneficial to your interests, then there has to be redress. By the law of nature, there must be recourse, and recourse is there. And I can say that because I'm seeing documents where I never really see before. I'm seeing instruments within this very system that I've never seen before. This is why I say, hold on, is this a red carpet that I roll out for I? And if that's the case, then I might as well, you know, venture through and see what it is. But at this point, you can't chop a man like me. At this point, we keep too much knowledge. At this point, we know everything I operate fraudulently, and we can prove it. Because me, I got through the fraudulent situation right now, where the supreme law of the land, which is the 1962 Constitution, where Chapter 3 of that very 1962 Constitution was amended by assent, meaning the Governor General's signature is attached or affixed to that document and that is chapter three was amended which is the charter of fundamental rights and freedoms and when it's scrutinized or approved that document you're gonna realize boy what is written as law is not what is really being enforced here I mean, something totally different I go on. So with that being said, it's safe to say we have, well, at least two systems at work. A system that one would call the jure system, meaning it would be the original framework or construct. And then you have a separate system now that's called the de facto system. And when we say de facto now, we are saying, boy, it's not really lawful, but it can be legal by consent. Irrespective of what the government is doing, they can only do it by the people's consent. You know what I mean? Now the people can only be governed by their own consent. If you do not consent, that governance has to go somewhere else. It's simple as that. However, even when you say, hey, I do not consent, it's like when these rogue officers, uh, they were rogue, they didn't follow no protocols. They just tell me, listen, 
I take you out of your car, gun drop, gun point me, I take you out of your car, because they had guns. If them not have no guns, them not going to stop me, and, and, and I don't even go pay them no mind. I step out on the road and not have no gun or not look like so them are some kind of official. I run them over. Yeah, man. I would have to just run them over. You can't step out in a road like that. You know what I mean? And that no means that we have total disregard for life. Just as I said, it's no different if you have moved through the road at night, 10.30, and whoop, something just step out on you. You can't do nothing about that. So I'm glad I wasn't speeding, as they would assume. So when these policy enforcers, are at that particular time, that's what they are. And now we have the information to know what happened lawful elected or appointed public servant or constable is opposed to corporate side of things. So when them pull me over and tell me, so watch ya, may I put handcuff on him, which is unlawful. May I take away your vehicle, may I call the record, may not take you out of handcuff until the record come. Which you know a yard is a Jamaica this, so you know some boy that take a minute. Some of us in a handcuff on the street side by these police officers. And them know themselves. I'm not gonna try to call them name no more and you know, I'm kinda over that really. That's a little bit above the level now. But them know themselves. And by now them for know say irrespective of them job them are do, it's a wrong. You have done wrong. Yeah, man. You have done wrong, man. And you inconvenient me from November 30th, 2019, when I have a vehicle. Down to two of them, they are on the road. And through me, me choose to move a certain way, I just call a taxi and get to where I go. And when I move, I just call a taxi and get to where I go. So I'm with the right here, and me, today is a bus stop, I wait for my taxi ride. Because my taxi man come from uptown. I don't work with too much of the people I'm around me no more. Because it's like when I take call a brethren and say, I could make a ride. And when we make a ride, my brethren, I give me some speech about something when I have nothing to do with me. And I always I try to get me involved and mix me up in some things when I have nothing to do with me. So what am I to do with people like that? I have to remove them from my existence, man. I have to separate from them. Listen. I'm not playing a games here. This is my life. At any time a man can feel like say boy, I watch you. I know too much, I'm talk too much, push him away. And I know that risk. What I said is when the Almighty passed down them out of there and I'm doing it for any guy to remove me, then that is out of my hand. There's nothing I can do. So I'm gonna live on the level there where people are talking about fear. Cause what I do? Notice must choose to stay on the correct side of the issue on the lawful side of the issue when I just talk to talk when we talk you can go research and get closure our knowledge base not come from none of these organized institutions none of these government foreign institutions it not come from none of these places however it come from all over so it's not about a bag of information where you have, but more the comprehension and then the application. The moment we gain some information enough to bring us to a level, we now go have the problem we say of one out there. And the back and forth with our public servant can be seized, it's like a cease. And now we have enough knowledge to direct and instruct our public servants. And we now have a problem invoking their bond and their public oath made under penalty of perjury. We don't have a problem doing that. When you do that now, you bring them in line. Yeah, man. But when you say a body politic will behave like how it will behave here, and your politician were so erratic and so irresponsible, then it makes sense for you just. Remove yourself from that construct. It's simple. Renunciation of citizenship of Jamaica would be appropriate for the ones that would choose. And that is just my opinion. 
Yeah, man. That's just my opinion. So when people are complain and not seek solution, then, you know, if you ask the question, is it an orchestrated plan where people just talk some things but really not do nothing? If you work with the people and we actually chose for your door, you know what you can do until you know. So it's not a belief thing. It's a knowing thing. And if you don't know who you are, you know go have a clue. Where or what or how you're clueless. You'll be drifting. Our problem on the island is that most of we are claim this African mess that was brought to us and taught to us by a set of people where had notions of usurping our place, which is an impossibility. Uh, you'll fool some people sometimes, but not all the people. And definitely not all the time. Recourse is there, people. Solutions to our problem is there. It's just that we probably are not looking in the right places and probably when we find it, we're not serious enough to make certain steps. And this is our problem here. People who have the information is afraid. Totally afraid to act. Yeah, man. 45 days in a general penitentiary, now called Tower Street Adult Correctional Center. And that them give me the way to me do right here. And that was like a slap on the wrist compared to most of our ancestors were here before. A slap on the wrist, and I don't take it personal, not even now, I'm not take it personal. It's a badge of honor. I'm going there. To meet someone's and rise someone's where you have to smile and say it is what it is. It's no different from Christ when them say I'm going to hell. Because what we call prison system, isn't it hell? I have that personal knowledge experience for no say when my God it, the man them nobody won't call me my first, middle and last name. I'm only want to deal with Linton Dallas. I'm a like the idea of that car when he writes his Linton on him. Hey, what we done with them all the soup off come and say, No brother, hold on you, you, you have to start putting the last anywhere there's so much to do. Them way that them deal with me. Every time we go anywhere, them I tell me say boy the first. I'm going to a location and I try to get some things done. And when the lady looked for my document, she said, She have to come back to me quietly and I say, Um, I've never seen this area fill out before. I say, yeah, is it the first? She say, yes, it's the first. And then them went and got a manager. And the manager said, yes, it's the first. So when they talk about people now do nothing, listen, a whole heap of changes we kind of discover. You understand? It's just that now I got publicized. Now I got publicized. When me used to have to create some documents and where me discover said them and lay out some things for me where me now I forgot through that card I'm really not want to deal with my thing. As lawful and correct as I am, I show them up. Understand it really embarrassed them. <laughs> and it's not intentional. It's never intentional because that is never my style to embarrass no man, especially my public servant. Hey man, no, no. When we are express ourselves as just natural thing in our nature, you can't prosecute me. Traffic court judge. For the knowledge of my key. Chief judge, Chester Crooks. You were wrong when he asked. Give me psychological evaluation 45 days in a prison. You're wrong, man. That is a wrong, my good brother. But that is a wrong one. I can't say, boy, I want to give it, man. What we need to do is fix up on a thing and 
get my vehicle to me and make sure it's in a proper running order. You get me? That's the compensation. We don't need any this and that from you. All. We're wealthy beyond our wildest dream because we have a bird surfing ticket for value. You know, sir, it's limitless. It now have no value. Limitless. I'm a totally comprehend what I'm going on with the bird surfing ticket. And this is why I take my time because when I go place this document in the traffic court, I'm not going to get no time for do nothing more than spin. And said, this is another first again, because I've done so much first on a traffic court, and I'm totally aware of all of it. The one them will work, and the one them will stop with. But again, we have to choose to be responsible with what we are doing, and how we are doing it. There is so much different style of things, but you have a lot of people where them do some little selfish thing to benefit just themselves. You understand? Oh, we can do this thing and... I get the piece of property I want me have, you know, off of them tax roll and them problem this and that. And yeah, you've, you've done that. And you gain success. And you keep it to yourself. And then you say you're special. But you, you know? For me personally, I say, listen, man. Everything is prepaid. Since 1933, Everything is prepaid. Once they remove the substantial gold and silver from the market, it becomes promise. Everything becomes a promise. You live off a trust. You know what I mean? That's why they call it promissory note. And down to the very Federal Reserve note, paper money where you have, it's called a promissory note. Look at it good, scrutinize it. You're going to say it have all the elements of a promissory note. And a promissory note, is something you can create from your office inside your house. It's more ink to paper. You just have to have the knowledge. You have a next style where because you have a bird surfing ticket, when they must bring any debt to you, all you have to do is tender that bird surfing ticket as payment. It's simple as that. Who can deny it? God, that's the, the very instrument they might use for conduct business. That's the only instrument them can interface with. So if you have the right narrative, you use a very bird surfing ticket and remove that twenty million dollar debt that them place in front of you. Because I can guarantee any agreement where you went into, it was never given full and honest disclosure. I guarantee it. Because when them send you say, boy, you have to pay this, all you have to do is ask you some questions and some verification. Verify proof of this and that, and they won't. They'll play games. They will play games. Why them are going to play games? Because they know them are commit fraud, and if them pursue where you are dealing with them fraud, they're going to expose, and them shall go to prison. Yeah, man, it's called double dipping. They all been paid for everything, every bill we have. That's this is why I'm here experiencing people. Why me are talking to me? I walk it and I laugh when I say, Look at it. Yeah, man, I just laugh when I say, Look at it. When I say, Hey, this is my name, Linton Oniv Dallas. You know, when I tell my lady, I say, You can't. Right, right, Linton Dallas. I laugh once, and then Linton Honey Dallas are my name. So, you are telling me it's my name? This is a problem. These people want to tell you what your name is, even when they have your first, middle, and last name right there. They might tell you, say, no, that's not your name. Your name are just your first and last name. And people are question that. It's called a secondary account, separate and distinct from the Linton Honey Dallas account. Understand? So you have your, your primary account, which is the account where a doctor your birth certificate. ticket. Because when you hear people talk about many QSIC number, not necessarily many QSIC number, you have one main QSIC number we attached to that birth certificate. ticket. My own experience. And from there, they have subdivision, subgroup. They have Dallas Linton O'Neill, they have Linton Dallas, they have Oh, Dallas, them have all of these things, but them are make money from hypothecated. So now, what me do is this. You see, any document that me I send to the government now, because when me sign it, I'm going to sign Linton, Ethan, O'Neill, comma, Dallas. Now, if I go with my full colon, and, hi, watch me, I learn those things. 
from David Wynn Miller back in the days. With them quantum grammar. I mean, never mind I incorporate these things, but I can tell you this. Oh, the, con the system constructed. You have to choose to do what you do. So when you use a comma, it's the very same thing. You separate the two given names from your house name or from your family name or from that so-called presumed last name with just a comma. And with a hyphen, where you do you connect your two given names? Because I'm like to say first and middle and last. But I say I don't have a first, middle, nor a last name. I don't have none of those things. I have two given names. I mean, use a hyphen because of the English grammar to connect those two given names, making it one. So Linton O'Neill become one name, comma, Dallas. Now, they will tell me, say, boy, the signature here is so tiny, you can't find all of them words there. So I have to come up with something new for them. Because I won't make you tell me, say, this is how it is. If me used to sign this way yesterday as a slave, unknowingly, well, today I write my name, man. I don't know nothing about signing. Why would I sign anything when I can write? So I then change the way I bring forward. So it's the hypothecation and the playing around with man. Signatures, it's like I start past you guys. As it, it will be fraud. And when I deal with my documents to own and out, I can always have a stamp on the back of it with my thumbprint. What's a copyright claim? Every single one of it. So you see, as we move forward, we learn and we grow. So when you talk about solution, look for solution, man. If you always look for problems, you're going to find a plethora of problems. But when you speak solution and look for solution, that's all you're going to find. Solutions. Yeah, man. So step by step, people. Step by step. Or well, the visual kind of get away. I don't know what's going on with this thing here, but I mean, probably I've got upgrade, you know? Anyway, people, this is just another philosophical reasoning, you know? Just a philosophical reason. I touch upon some points, some topics, and, you know? Just a share the basic information. We are what you call a what? Yeah, man. The people and what I call Arawaks. Yeah, we are who you call Awuwa. Yeah, man. And you have other people who say Arawak, and that is fine. We don't have no problem with that. You know what I mean? None at all. But we are Awuwa, separate and distinct. Awuwa, Indian nation in America. This is who we are. Awuwa, Indian nation. Cool and brave, firm and strong. This is who we are. Non-adverse, non-belligerent, non-combative, neutral society who is at peace with this earth. This is who we are. Choose to say knowledge over ignorance. Yeah, man. We choose to move more on that level. Or we try to apply ourselves we attain the information what we need, opposed to others trust and I believe. You can't have trust if you don't know. You trust in a people where you know, you trust in a things where you know. Believe for something else. However, give thanks and praise. The brave may fall, but never yield. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. The Lord, Bojo Bantan, says I get some culture. If more of these entertainers make them kind of effort, then, then, you know, things will probably become a little bit better. So, salut. Gratitude, people. I must say salute to the Awuak Network. Yeah, man, that specific group chat. Yeah, man, you have some exceptional people over there, may I tell you. You have some knowledge base where, may I have to say, salute.
people are bright, you know, people are really up, people are very sharp. Come on. So gratitude, gratitude, gratitude to the Awak Network. And gratitude to the Awak Indian Nation. Yeah, man. Salute people. Yeah, man. Salute people. Step by step. Step by step. 